What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how I assemble a tray. So right now uh, what I'm doing, I'm basically just checking in the tray on the computer. So at our location, all we have to do is scan it and then we press assemble on screen and then we begin to assemble the tray. Now for some reason, our scanners are trash. So, as you can see, I'm just rescanning it. Sometimes they like to say that it's dead, even though it's been sitting on the charger. So, that's why you keep seeing me um, scan the tray, and then I scan my badge. And it basically says that Brianna is assembling this tray. Now, when I do my trays, sometimes I lay a towel down because the instruments sometimes are wet. And sometimes it's just easier for me to see when the instruments are on this blue towel. Now, when I assemble trays, I like to put my like items together. And I always start off with my scissors because it just makes it so much easier. Um, because when we, get, when we get the tray, more than likely the scissors are open. So this is what you see me doing right now. I'm taking all the scissors out and I'm putting them together. So if I have two Alice, I put them this together. Or if I have two needle holders, I put them together as well. Now I'm putting on some gloves because I didn't notice that some of the contents in the tray were wet. It's always good to wear your PPE and wear your gloves because you never know if a tray has blood, sutures, any of that can be in the tray. So you always want to make sure that you wear your gloves. I should have started off wearing my gloves, but hey. I'm going to continue wearing my gloves throughout this video. So yes, as you can see, I'm just putting the scissors together. And don't mind me if I do stop throughout the video because one of the nurses came down and she was talking to me. And this tray that I'm doing right now is a C-section tray. Other C-section trays may be different from different hospitals, but this is our C-section tray. And those are Babcocks. And then we have some Orsteners. So this C-section trays do have a lot of scissors, so it's more time consuming for me to separate them. And what I just pulled out, that was a stringer. So all your scissors normally go on stringers. Now that I have all my scissors laid out, we're going to be putting all our scissors on the stringer. So normally on the count sheet, it will say stringer, and it's just telling you what instruments are on the stringer. All right, you guys, I came back. I had to keep stopping because somebody kept talking to me. Team lead, so I do have a lot of nurses coming down asking for things. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just going by the count sheet. The count sheet will let you know the doctor instruments that they use in order. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just going through the count sheet, and I'm also checking to make sure that there's no blood. Um making sure that there's no uh, sticky instruments sticking together or if some need lubrication, I'm checking that as well. You always want to double check your scissors. You don't want a doctor to go use scissors during the surgery and they don't work. All right, we're back, guys. So now I'm finishing up on the stringer. All right, we are finished with the stringer portion. Every time I do my scissors, I do like to hold it. And I like to hold it up because it just makes sure that all the scissors are on the same rack. 
Because sometimes you can misplace putting the scissor on the rack and it will hang off. So what I'm doing now, I'm basically just wiping out the tray. Like I said before, the tray was wet, so I'm just wiping it down. And now I'm about to do the bottom of the tray. Now on the count sheet, it will have things like stringer or bottom of the tray. So these instruments go on the bottom of the tray. And these are mostly your heavy instruments or small instruments that go on a silicone um, holder. So as you can see, I'm just checking the forceps, making sure they're not cricket, making sure that they don't need repairs. All right, now this portion we will be doing our heavy instruments, our big bulky instruments. So those two were called the Goulette. This is called the Simpson pool or the pool suction. I said the Simpson. This is the pool suction. So I do take a pipe cleaner, just check it, make sure that there's no blood. And as I do it, as I'm doing it, I'm going through the count sheet. So that was my medicine cup. That is my Balfour bladder. And then those are my two Richardsons, medium and large. And then these are my two Simpsons. This is what they use to pull the baby, you guys. And I'm just checking for blood or any rust or corrosion. Now that I'm finished with the tray, we're going to put the scissors on top. And then we cannot forget our indicator because if we do not put the indicator, it's considered not sterile. All right, you guys, so you see that the tray is nice and neat and ready to be packaged so then i'm gonna put up the towel i already got my casket for it and then what we're gonna do i already put the filter inside and we're gonna put the filter on top if this tray do not have the indicator the filter is considered non-sterile so you always want to make sure that you put those items in your tray so i'm putting the count sheet and then I'm putting the top on it. And then the last step is going to be to put our locks. So I'm just locking it up. I'm going to the other side, locking that up as well. This is my best part, or my favorite part. And then I'm taking my two white indicators. And when this tray is processed, that um, lock will turn black on the side. It's basically saying that it was exposed to sterilization. And then I have my label here. This basically says what tray it is, who did the tray, and what day the tray was assembled. And then I'm just going to put my label on it. And you guys, that is it. Easy as one, two, three. I feel like the more trays you do, the more you'll get it and the more you will learn. All right, stay tuned, you guys. See you later. Peace.